Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to part three, spreading your butterfly, finally! Now if you remember from the last video, those of us who needed to put our butterflies into a relaxing chamber. My butterfly has been relaxing for a little bit more than 48 hours, so it should be just perfect. So let's test it. Now, I'm gonna hold the butterfly, and you can see that I can open and close the butterfly's wings with very little effort. That means it's flexible and floppy and ready to go. Now, you might notice that I'm holding the butterfly with my forceps. That's because the butterfly's wings are covered in millions of tiny microscopic scales, which give it its beautiful colors and patterns. If I were to touch it with my fingers or some sort of rough surface, it would rub off those scales, making it not as beautiful. If you don't have the forceps, no big deal. Just handle it very carefully and try to touch the wings as little as possible. Now, I've got my styrofoam board here and I've covered the entire surface with a sheet of tracing paper. And I've used pins to pin down the corners to keep it still. Now, the tracing paper also will protect the butterfly's wings from the rough surface of the styrofoam so it doesn't hurt, rub off the scales. I've placed some pins here, ready to go for easy access. So, I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to place it right in the middle of the styrofoam board. Now, the first thing that I need to do is pin the butterfly down because I'm going to be moving the wings around, but I don't want the butterfly to move. So, I'm going to put one pin on each side of its abdomen between the butterfly's wing and the butterfly's abdomen, just like that. Then I'm going to put two more pins up here on either side of the thorax. This will ensure that the butterfly stays very still for this entire process. Now you can see, if I turn this over, the butterfly's not falling down because it's pinned in place. Now, next thing I need to do is take my thin strips of tracing paper, one of them, and I'm going to do this one side at a time. So I'm going to work with this side of the butterfly, and I'm going to place the strip of paper over both of the butterfly's wings. I'm then going to take a pin, and I'm going to use the pointing part of the pin, and I'm going to start with the forewing. And I'm going to take the pin and start pushing on the forewing using this very large vein that runs all the way along the margin, the, the top margin of the forewing. This is the strongest vein in the wing, and you can use the pin to push, using that vein, push the wing up and keep pushing it up until the bottom margin of the wing is perpendicular to the butterfly's body. I'm then going to take some pins, however many you feel comfortable using, and I'm going to push them through the paper, not through the butterfly's wing, but as close to the butterfly, the edge of the butterfly's wing as possible. This will hold this wing in place, and I'll show you here, perpendicular to the body, the pins are holding in place, so that's good. Now I'm going to work with the hind wing. So I take another pin and lift up the bottom part of the paper to move it out of the way so I can use the pin to find another strong vein in the hind wing and push it up until it just covers the bottom of the forewing. Then I'm going to place more pins around the hind wing, maybe another one up here at the forewing, to keep it all in place. So when I've done one side, the butterfly is going to look like this. Its wing is spread and ready to go. Now I'm going to work with the other side. I'm going to give you guys a little break and when I'm done I'll show you what the finished product should look like. <laughs> 